Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to migrate a WordPress site into a new server or a new host. So the first thing is to uh, log in into WordPress and uh, we want to install a plugin. I'm going to use Duplicator so I'm going to go into plugins, add new and uh, in the search box I'm going to type Duplicator And I'm going to install uh, the button of installation is not there because I've already installed but go ahead and install it and then activate the plugin so once that's done go ahead and go into duplicator and click on packages and go ahead and click on create new click next and I'm going to pause for a second Preview that all the tests pass and click build. Okay, so once that's finished, go ahead and download the installer and the archive. I'm going to click download and download. So the next step is to go into our cPanel for the new host server. And I want to go inside the file manager. And I want to, at the root, at the root of my directory, uh, it's where you're going to uh, upload your uh, your index, uh, that your installer.php file and your zip file. That is if you're going to host your WordPress site at the root. But in this case, I'm going to create a new directory. And I'm going to name it artwork2. And I'm going to click create new. Then I'm going to go into artwork2 and I'm going to upload these two files. So I'm going to click upload, choose file, I'm going to select the zip file and I'm going to click open. I'm going to wait for it to finish and next I'm going to upload the installer.php. So I'm going to select the file and I'm going to click open and when it's completed I'm going to go back into the file manager and I'm going to refresh and make sure that both files are there. I'm going to rename this file because it shouldn't be uh, one, it should be installed.php so I'm going to click on rename I'm going to remove this rename and that's fine. So I'm going to go back into cPanel and uh, next we need to create a new database. So I'm going to click on MySQL databases and I want to create a new database. I'm going to call this one artwork underscore db2 and I'm going to click create once this created I'm going to click go back and I want to, uh, the next step that I want to do, I want to click on jump to my SQL users and I want to create a new database user. I'm going to name it artwork underscore db2 and for a password I'm going to generate a password and I'm going to copy this password and I'm going to paste it in a file so I can find it later and I want to click use password and finally create user next I'm going to click go back and so after creating the user what I want to do is to add the user to the database so I'm going to select the user and I'm going to select the database and I'm going to click add and next what I want to do is to give all privilege to that user and I'm going to make changes click on make changes and so finally I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to um, browse to the URL of the installer.php package. So I'm going to say artwork2 installer 
.php. And you should be getting this um, this dialog box. So I'm going to click on. I have read the uh, the terms and notices. I'm going to click next. At this time, it's unzipping and extracting uh, the content of the zip file. So I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. So next, I'm going to add my database name, which is artwork underscore db2, and the user is the same as my database name. And for the password, I'm going to get it from here. Click copy, paste it, and I want to uh, test database. So I'm going to click test. Everything passed. So I'm going to click next. Yes. And finally, I'm going to say next. And I'm going to click on site login to finalize the setup. I'm going to enter username and password. Click login. And that's it. Uh, that's how you uh, migrate your WordPress installation into a new uh, server or host. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always remember to subscribe and thank you.